Dance means a lot to me because it's such a beautiful art. The teachers and students are all very welcoming here. We're all like one big family. It's like my second home. I came to America and didn't have a work permit, but what I could do was teach dance. And so it started in my basement with just a few neighborhood children. IBT offers ballet, tap, jazz, pretty much every single dance form, and um, it's made me a really well-rounded dancer. My twin brother and I um, have been here since we were four, so we've been here for nine years. It's like an escape from our pain issues since we both have chronic headaches. I really do love to perform on stage. I feel so invigorated when I'm on stage. Indiana Ballet Theatre, IBT, began as Imperial Dance Studio 36 years ago. And as we grew, I realized that I would like to pass it on as a legacy. Working with Miss Thierry is pretty cool because she's really sweet. The way she would speak to you is just always really nice. It all began from the dreams of the children. And as they've said, well, I want to do this, but I can't afford to do that. I would think, how can I help them make this happen? And it's just expanded from that. My daughter has her own little fan club. It's been quite a transformation to see her grow in her dancing and um, her love for dance as well. My experience at IBT has helped me to be more helpful, not just in dance, but in school and helping younger students all around me. The vision was small to begin with, to get out of my house with the costumes and a place for Indiana Valley Theatre to call home. But um, then the, the vision expanded, so we were looking for somewhere larger. And what better, being from England, than uh, a Georgian Revival House <laughs> that actually used to house nurses that took care of the tuberculosis patients that was part of this whole sanatorium complex. And having been introduced to uh, who actually owned the building at the time, which was the Lake County Commissioners. Seven months later, they finally did uh, donate the building to Indiana Ballet Theatre to renovate for the arts. It seemed just the perfect place to bring us all together. The Classical Arts Center will be a place where we are offering the arts to the community. So there will be stuff like art, ballet and dance, and music. It's going to be a big building and a studio for the dancers to be able to have more space to dance and just an all around better place for IBT to be able to grow. Destinations, it's something that seems to be lacking in Northwest Indiana is places for families to meet and have, spend the afternoon and have a good time. And it's also good for the local businesses because it brings people in and the economy thrives and they found this very successful so I think it can happen here. This area here as we come into the building will have the main reception and office areas for everybody that is renting in the space. And over to this side, as you walk through, there'll be after the stairwells, there will be a Black Rocks Theatre will take off all of that area there. And that will go into a French windows that will go out to a patio deck that will go all along the side of the building onto the outside grounds. So I think it's something that is needed and has been needed for a long time in Northwest Indiana, being able to showcase other arts and other studios and other forms of dance in the Classical Arts Center. It's not just about IBT, it becomes about showcasing the rich diversity of arts we have in Northwest Indiana and I think the Classical Arts Center is the place that's going to do it. The focus right now is on expanding the region's vision for a better quality life and so that, that does bring your families together in all walks of life and brings each region together. We'd like more people in the community uh, to get involved and give back to the community. We really need to step up and have this happen in Northwest Indiana. We need to have this Classical Arts Center. It's important to our children, our youth, our families. Even though people weren't used to modern dance here, in Northwest Indiana and we kept trying and we've done many shows and now I find that there's such a great acceptance and appreciation in Northwest Indiana for modern dancing as well as the other forms. I think the proudest day will be that we open the doors and 
welcome people into this building, fully renovated, and we've saved history and shared it with the world.